Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for your likes, subscribes, and shares. If there's anything else you'd like to know about me, it's in the description. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Keep in mind, you do not have to be a Virgo to resonate with this reading. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. I am available for personals. That information is in the description as well. Let's get started. Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides, thank you so much for all that you do for me. Thank you for loving, guiding, and protecting me. Please allow me to connect to the collective sign of Virgo and give guidance and advice to those who need it. Also, please surround me with a protective white light of the highest frequency and only allow positive energy into my space. Amen. 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 Hey, Virgo, royalty, gang, gang. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are taking care of yourselves. I hope... Yes, I hope you are sprinkling self-love all over yourself. Sprinkle that shit. Okay. So, today I'd like to focus on more of a spiritual reading for my students and my clients um, whose gifts that are coming online. And, um, yeah, I like to do some. I just like to take a different approach today. Okay? So, it may resonate. It may not. So... Today's video is going to be about karmic family, okay? So, when I woke up this morning, I was getting some downloads. So, some of you could have came from a karmic family. Uh, these people, these particular people in your family were put there to cause more drama, cause more trauma, okay? They have been programmed to play this role. So, they may be aware of it or they may not be aware of it, okay? Um, and so during this time, you have to choose who's who you want in your vibration. And so everything is vibration, everything is energy. So an example of um, a karmic family is Harry Potter and his family because they tried to suppress his gifts um, and everything about him. They wanted to keep him in a low vibration. I'm gonna start with the Kipper. Some of these family members are also there to block your ascension, okay? Yeah, we have bad health. Oh, I'm about to sneeze, I think. Okay, so karma is very real, okay? What I'm getting from this, some of you may have had a family member that caused so much trauma to you that now they're experiencing bad health. We have thoughts on the bottom. Somebody was fully, fully aware of the trauma they caused you, okay? Some of you could be experiencing maybe some um, temporary illness, um, some sort of health issue. Yeah. Oh, wow. Here we go. So you could have came from a family that kept you in this state of, oh, you're never going to be anything. You're never going to amount to anything. You're never, you're never going to um, be happy. You know, whatever that looks like for you, especially if you're a starseed, it, it's totally different from the norm, usually, okay? This is how you feel towards your family. Like, they put you through some things. They um, were projecting, okay? Excuse the glare. I tried to... Um, find other source of lighting but it's not enough light in here and I need it to be bright so you may have told your family members like your goals and your dreams and they may have shut you down all the time because every time they felt like you were going to 
like take a step. This glare is killing me. I need over here. Sorry. Um, this card number 33, somebody in your family could be a Mason too. But they felt like, okay, every time you felt good about yourself or every time you had some sort of spark in your mind, they shut you down. It kind of reminds me of like the wicked stepmother scenario. You know, these are all situations of narcissists, narcissistic family, narcissistic family members. Yeah. They wanted to suppress your gifts and steal your destiny. What the fuck am I looking at? I'm sorry, y'all know I get upset at certain things. What the hell am I looking at? You see how it was like they were grooming you to be a certain way. Because that looks like the same little boy, almost. Okay? They were grooming you to be a certain way. They didn't want you to reach your full potential journey. Best approach, obstacles and blocks, they... Oh, wow. They really tried to keep you from yourself. Okay, but the best approach, we have the journey card, which is beautiful. And sometimes this is hard. This is hard. Having to choose you. You. Ten represents an ending and a new beginning. So, for some of you, lack and poverty and bad health was projected onto you because your mind has the power to manifest your reality and heal your body. They didn't want you to know this. And the likely outcome. You're going to find... You're going to find new people. If you haven't already, you're going to find new people that um that love you, your tribe. You just you're you're going to have to choose the right people to be around. Um some people don't realize a good thing until it's gone. I didn't want to focus on love in this reading. Don't worry, I'm uploading quite a few readings today. But I wanted to touch on some other subjects. Um, yeah, you are a natural born healer. They, like your family and the people around you, whoever raised you, they didn't want you to know this. Maybe they were receiving some satanic threats. Um, maybe they were the satanic threat because once again, these people may not have been aware of what they were doing, okay? Perped everywhere you go. That's why it's like, if they don't accept you in one place, go to, to another. And that's what Jesus taught. Um, but you basically may be the kind of person that get perped everywhere you go. And there's monitoring spirits. These, these people, these friends, these family members, maybe a lover wanted to erode your will. Um, your words have power, life and death are in the power of the tongue. Let me get some tarot. Yeah, just, um, just wanted to do something different other than love, you guys. So I know this video may not get that many views and that's okay. That's okay. Why I'm here like all my life I had to fight. Well, damn. Yeah, we got the Ten of Swords. I saw the Seven of Wands. So this was like a never-ending battle for you. People wanted you to show up the way they wanted you to show up in life. Okay. I'll take it reverse, but we have the Eight of Wands reverse, okay? So it was projection. It was never through words. So people were projecting this fucked up reality onto you. Um, 
And now with the privileged lady here, you realize that your words have power. Okay? We have a curse, witches. You may come from a family of witches, too. Yeah. Somebody was very immature. Could have been, this could have been sibling rivalry I'm getting. Also, Virgo, how you feel. You feel like um, you just have to fight to win at all costs. Like, you just want to be happy. Or the two of cups on the bottom. There is a soulmate involved. Not in a bad way, actually. I feel like somebody, there may be some people that are trying to keep you from a, a, a loving, healthy relationship. This may not, this story isn't for everybody, but somebody may be trying to keep you from a healthy, loving relationship. Sun card reverse. Somebody had a very, very traumatizing childhood. Yeah. You're a natural born healer, and, and, and that's usually how it happens, right? Wounded warrior on the bottom. But the ending comes out so beautifully because you know that life and death are in the power of the tongue, and what you think about, you bring about, okay? All it boils down to at the end of the day is doing your spiritual work and affirming, right? Growing up, you had to say your ABCs like a, a gazillion times, right? To, to memorize it and then speak your language, right? It's the same thing with affirmation, but there were people working really hard to keep you down. And that's another three. Threes are definitely a factor in this reading. It's like... There's these people that benefited off your misery. It was beneficial to them for you to remain... Get the fuck out of here. For you to remain miserable. Very beneficial. We got the devil. Could have been a Capricorn. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo. These are like family members or just friend of the family. Um... Some of you experienced some unspeakable things at a very young age. Obstacles and blocks, seven of swords, reverse clarifying the thief card. And I'm not surprised because you, you were gifted young, right? So many of you already came into this world. So I'm like, damn, this place is fucked up. Where the fuck am I? First of all, because, <laughs> you know, star seeds come in like, what the fuck? And so you came in like, what the fuck is this shit? I'm not used to this because your soul is from a completely different planet. And you became spiritually awoke really young. Definitely, you are an old soul. This is a card that speaks of past lives, um, childhood memories, which were very bad. Obstacles and blocks, which were very bad, Virgo. Very bad. Um, but again, this is a past life card. So you chose a certain situation so that you could wake up faster. Now, trauma causes psychic abilities to awaken faster. If you see in, in certain movies and shows, they inflict a lot of trauma and pain on a person. Um before their gifts can come online. Now there's three ways um, you can have psychic gifts. You're either born with it, pregnancy, or through trauma, okay? And that's why it's important to nurture your gifts, speak your truth, acknowledge your spirituality, stand up for what you believe in, um, don't waver on what it is you know and that is the law there's so many laws law of attraction law of assumption the law of one the law of one is the most important law though the law of one everything and everyone is one everyone is you pushed out so what you think about you bring about 
Yeah, and so the best approach is to continue on your spiritual journey, speak your truth, and overcome your subconscious mind of any lack thinking, any negative belief systems. But you're doing it. Um, you're going to, because of the light you carry, Virgo, you're going to run into some bullshit. <laughs> but it's up to you to protect yourself and stay guarded against people that don't mean you any good. Yeah, we have the justice card reverse and the outcome. Um, be careful of spiritual wives and spiritual husbands because we have monitoring spirits here. Um, this could be a spirit that may be trying to prevent you from getting married um, or having a healthy connection. We have the Queen of Cups on the bottom, Cancer, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. But you could have been dealing with a Libra or you could be dealing with a Libra. But you do have a monitoring spirit here, um, which is watching your every move. Um, be careful in making any impulsive decisions wrapped around business during this time. We have the Magician reverse, so I'm definitely, this is crazy. I'm definitely getting that there, there was some magic involved in your childhood as well as in adulthood um nobody wanted you to know what was going on in the background and what was going on virgo is um people tried to siphon your energy and steal your destiny let me just keep it 100. Where are we at 16. i'm gonna tell y'all how fucking spoiled y'all are too let me just take a minute <sighs> virgo y'all are so fucking spoiled that if I record a video less than 25 minutes, it don't get that many views. It don't get that much watch time. Y'all are spoiled. Y'all are like, I don't know if y'all are looking at the time of the video and going, oh no, bitch, that's not long enough. <laughs> Cause I, I would think like, dang, okay, they would be happy as long as I get something out. No, the Virgo royalty gang with y'all prissy motherfuckers. Y'all are prissy and I love it because I made y'all that way. You're like, no, bitch, I got to have my blunt, my alcohol, my munchies. I got to get my shit ready and I got to sit down and watch you for 30 minutes. Meaning, I prepare to watch your shit, Jackie. Okay, touche, my nigga, touche. But we're going to do another spread. Um, I really wanted to touch on the karmic family members okay the karmic family if that's your story and i've been reaching well a lot of my students and clients have been reaching out to me about their gifts um coming online and not really sure what to do because it, it's it's challenging <laughs> don't use stranger things bro now this has numeral numerical numbers on it not you know my younger years i, I memorized them i knew them i have to go back over them again don't judge me Well, we're going to use Stranger Things in a spread and um, clarify with something else. So now that you've awakened to your gifts, what I'm getting for those is the people around you are in their feelings because they can no longer pull one over on you because you sh you see the bullshit like from a mile away and you're like, oh, you got me all the way messed up. Oh, y'all thought I wasn't gonna whip out the new decks. So I got this and I got a uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I'll 
take them. Let's see what we got here. Put them in their proper perspective. Okay, so we have, this looks like a wheel card. Is that a three? We are not gonna sit here and read numbers. The what of strands? Okay, that looks like the nine of strands. Now, I'm not reading the miracles, y'all. I'm reading the symbols. So let's get to it. Energy as of now, I feel like you're in this energy of letting go of toxic bullshit. You're in this energy of letting things go that no longer serve you. Um, I'm also getting like, this isn't good, but I'm getting a lot of energy siphoning here with these, these, these strands, like, and I'm seeing DNA strands in my mind, like, okay, um, all these people are trying to siphon off your fucking energy, and you're like, okay, if you don't get the fuck out of here, what we not finna do is take my energy, we have the king of scoops here, okay, um, I'm assuming Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, but you have, you're very grounded emotionally, you have a lot of love to give, Virgo, you um, you try to be there for people the best way you can, and it seems like you always tend to get the shitty end of the stick. We have the page, the page of strands here. I'm assuming this is wands. You see, I'm assuming, but I'm reading symbols here. Okay, so you want to message some? Why am I getting? You want to message somebody and give them a piece of your mind? Now this could be friends, family, coworkers, but you want to message somebody and give them a piece of your motherfucking mind. Some of you could be doing some spiritual work, um, affirming, manifesting, visualization, scripting. You could be focused on your passions right now. Okay, we have the Knight of Strands reverse show you all these cards I don't, let me see bring it in I like the cards they're a little thin but I still like them um we have the knight of strands reverse so yeah Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so people were like siphoning your energy. You still have people, Virgo. I don't know. Somebody could be masturbating to your photo. Somebody could be um, dreaming of you. You may feel this. You're like, what the fuck is this pulling on me? There are people dreaming of you, um, thinking about you sexually, thinking about you in so many different ways that you can feel it. Okay, we have the death card reverse. These are people that you no longer talk to anymore. Um... We have the queen of spokes. Look at 11. Okay, and so these people, these people are pulling on your energy, okay? Um, negative energy is easier for people to feed off of, which I don't know the fuck why, okay? But they know that you're a gifted motherfucker, you're a supernatural badass motherfucker, um, and they keep toying with you, not knowing that you're low-key a spiritual genius. Let me just tell the story, okay? We have the king of strands here. All these strands cards is like You were put under a lot of trauma and a lot of stress on purpose, okay? So that these gifts could come online. At first, it was like, we don't want Virgo to acknowledge their gifts. We don't even want them to know they had these gifts, right? But what they fail to realize is trauma. Trauma is what brings them online. We have the moon card. And so you have people... Cancer energy, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Who the fuck are all these people? Now that's still here or there, but you got a lot of people that, you know, I don't know why you always have these love-hate relationships or it seems like you got fucking ops. 
I don't understand what the hell you be doing. But you, but you don't be doing nothing. So, the best approach to this, I'm assuming the Ten of Spokes is like the pinnacles. We looking at wheels. I don't know. Listen. Is to do you, man. Do you. But you have ups. And in the in the spirit realm, you're a badass motherfucker. Look, the hermit. You a badass motherfucker in the spirit realm. You are loving out this bitch. Look at this. And you may have been in a relationship with somebody that never experienced your energy before and they want it. I can't even say it's you they want. For real, for real, I'm going to keep it real with you, Virgo. It's your energy. Everybody wants your energy. Oh my goodness, on Amazon Prime, um, that show is coming out. I'm a Virgo. I think it's I'm a Virgo or Adventures of Virgo or something like that. Don't know. Everybody wants is you. Do you know that Virgo, okay, the zodiac sign of Virgo was one of the 12 apostles, which actually happens to be Mary Magdalene. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. Temperance and the outcome, upright. But you have you have people that have your back. Like, you have your tribe. This is a time where there is going to be increased shadow energy amongst the planet. And you're going to have to have your tribe in order to survive. I'm going to just keep it real, the sun. Oh, that's a cute picture. It just is. And on the bottom, we have the justice reverse. More Libra energy. But justice will be served. You've been through a lot. A lot of people are about to get their karma. And you about to shine. You're about to shine bright like a diamond. All right, Virgo. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.